Hi, Chris here. I got another Dollar Tree haul for you. Um, first, I wanted to share that I got a 10% off your entire purchase of $10 or more Associate Appreciation Day coupon. It is only for this Sunday, but it's in everything in the store, and I was planning on going anyway, so I'm going to use that. You do have to have your associate's name. Okay. Got a new basketball from a kid. My littlest one loves basketball, and we have a six-month-old Mastiff puppy that also likes to play basketball and keeps popping all his basketballs, so I'd rather just buy the, you know, they're not the real basketballs. They're obviously, they're not like, you know, they're just full of air. Tiny little thing. He likes playing with those. These. Some Halloween window stickers. Window clings. 17 count. Oh, they were adorable. I love the pink and the green. A little cauldron full of eyeballs. How cute is that? My four-year-old son's going to love these. He loves putting the Halloween stickers up on the walls and on the doors. Place map. It's actually going to go in the center of my table with, you know, all my cute little stuff on it. Like my banana nut bread candle that I got from Dollar Tree today. It really smells so good. The packaging is actually really nice. It's air fresh. So I guess it's kind of like air wick. I saw it on somebody else's haul, so I figured I'd give it a try if they had it, and they actually had it. Yep. Compared to Airwick, three ounces. So I got some Swatvatel fabric conditioner, Field Flowers Scents. 30 days of freshness, not in small loads. Um, I'm actually not going to use it for my laundry. My kids and my fiance tend to break out when I use the uh, the liquid fabric softener, so I just use the dryer sheets. But um, that six-month-old Mastiff puppy I told you about, he likes to go in our pond, and he likes to come inside and lay on my furniture and get it all stinky. So I figure instead of using a bottle of Febreze a week, maybe I could just dilute this a little bit and spray this on the furniture. Maybe it would stay a little bit longer. Since it does save 30 days of freshness and all, we'll give it a shot. And it's a dollar, so... What the heck? If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. We got some nacho cheese bugles, which, as you can tell, my son's already gotten into. But it does have the box tops for education, and it came with a coupon attached to it that is for 50 cents off of two of them. Oh, but I didn't use that today. Little reddish burgundy wine color tote um, with the handles. It's going to go underneath my sink. I like to use the diaper boxes for all my stuff like under my sink and in my closet and stuff. But um, I had a leak under my kitchen sink the other day and the bottom's just completely ripped out of a few of the boxes. So I'm going to try this. That shouldn't be a problem. Then I got a couple of these. They're the uh, fabric storage bins. They have the hard sides and they have handles. Now they do have other colors. They have them where they're just the plain tan or just the dark brown with the opposite color handle and trim. Um, I got this one with the circles. I thought it was cute. They did have one purple one, but it was the different, I don't know if it was the home store brand. It was the other brand where they have the different sizes like A, B, C, and D. And it was a C, which is normally what I get, but they only had one in purple, in any color actually. These are the only ones they had besides the one purple one. So I wanted to get them to match because they're gonna go in my closet on top of one of my shelves for, you know, like extra things, my, uh, you know, my bathing suits and scarves, stuff like that. Or maybe even just like, you know, paperwork that I wanna put in a box, but maybe not a diaper box so it doesn't look so cute. I tried doing the, um, using the diaper boxes and then I put the, you know, designer duct tape around them. I tried it for my kids' room for their toys and um, shoes and stuff like that, and it looked adorable, but we like to call our boys the little pickers because they like to pick at everything that can come unpeeled, so they all just got ripped up, and in the process, they ripped the boxes that they were taped onto, so that was just a hassle, and I spent a lot of time doing it, so I'm not doing that again. So we're just going to try these out. Um, hopefully, there won't be a problem. 
Actually, I'm going to I'm gonna open one up right now and see how big it actually is. Sorry, I have to do this one-handed. I don't have a cool phone with a kickstand. Oh, it's a really good size. And it does have the hard bottom. Yeah, so that's going to hold a lot of stuff. I mean, that's how deep it is. It's, you know, a good eight inches deep or so. It's, de it's deeper than the tote I got. So that should be good. So I got two of those. And last but not least, I like to find little, you know, stocking stuffers while I'm there. And I happened to come across this classic Looney Tunes comics. 20 complete comic books, all color, all printable CD-ROM. Um, you know, I have nieces and nephews, and they have everything. They have all these toys, and I just don't know what to get them. But I figured maybe one of the boys would like one of these. And then they have another one, too, that's got, like, Scooby-Doo and stuff. And I really did look for that. My son loves Scooby-Doo. But I don't have a CD-ROM on my computer. I have a mini laptop, like a, a notebook or whatever I guess it's called. It doesn't have a CD-ROM in it. Um, but, yeah, so I thought um, I have a nephew that is uh, – actually, he's going to be my nephew when I get married. Um, but he just turned six, so I thought that he would really like this. It would be fun. And if I talk to his mom and he's not into the Looney Tunes and stuff, then I do have a nephew that is a couple days older than my son. They'll be two next week. Um, you know, he might just like to practice coloring on that and stuff. All right. And I showed you that candle. Yep. So that's it for my haul today. This is my second haul. My first one wasn't very good. And I'm working on getting a new camera where I can have a kickstand so you can actually see this pretty face when I'm talking to you. Just kidding. All right, well, I hope you guys liked everything I got at the Dollar Tree, and I'll be going to the Dollar Tree again this weekend. Actually, I'm going to a different one because I'm looking for those owl um, doormats, little door rugs, and the shag rugs. My entire rug section was just completely picked through, and there was only a couple things left besides the Halloween rugs, which don't really go with any of the decor in my kitchen or the colors or anything, so I didn't want to... Yeah, I just like to keep things in order, the same color, everything like that. Okay, all right, thanks for watching. Like my video, subscribe if you want. Hopefully you'll like my video and my future videos. Any pointers, let me know. Thanks.